in a land of myth and a time of magic. The destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young boy. However, no young man, no matter how great, can know his destiny. He cannot glimpse his part in the great story that is about to unfold. Like everyone, he must live and learn. And so it will be for the young warlock arriving at the gates of Camelot, a boy that will in time father the legend. His name, Merlin. Collins is a judge guilty of conspiring to use magic and enchantments. And pursuant to the laws of Camelot, I, Uther Pendragon, have decreed that such practices are banned on penalty of death. I pride myself to be a fair and just king, but for the crime of sorcery, there is but one sentence I can pass. When I came to this land, this kingdom was mired in chaos. But with the people's help, magic was driven from this realm. So I declared a festival to celebrate 20 years since the great dragon was captured and Camelot freed from the evil of sorcery. Let the celebrations begin. There is only one evil in this land. And it is not magic. It is you. With your hatred, and your ignorance. You took my son! And I promise you, before these celebrations are over, you will share my tears. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a son for a son. Caesar! This is the man. Uh, where would I find Gaius, the court physician? Hello? Uh, hello? Gaius? Hello? Gaius? What did you just do? Um... Tell me! Uh, I have no idea what happened. Are you lying to me, boy? If anyone had seen that... Uh, oh no, um... That had nothing to do with me. That, that was... I know what that was. I just want to know where you learnt it from. Uh, nowhere. So how is it that you know magic? I don't. Are you lying to me, boy? Uh, what do you want me to say? The truth! I was born like this. That's impossible. Who are you? Oh, um, I have this letter. I don't have my glasses. Oh, I'm Merlin. Hewnit's son? Yes, uh, the letter. Guys, I turn to you, for I feel lost and alone and don't know who to trust. It is every mother's fate to think that her child is special. And yet, I would give my life that Merlin were not so. Ours is a small village, and he is so clearly at odds with people here that 
if he were to remain, I feel what would become of him. He needs a hand to hold, a voice to guide, someone that might help him find a purpose for his gifts. I beg you, if you understand a mother's love for her son, keep him safe and may God save you both. He should reach by Wednesday. But you're not meant to be here till Wednesday. Um, it is Wednesday. You can put your belongings in there. Thank you. Oh, and, um, you won't mention anything about, uh... No, Merlin. Although I should warn you to be careful. I'm sorry, guys, but I was born this way. of her but there's nothing wrong with loving who you are she said cause he made you perfect son so hold your head up boy and you go far listen to me when i say i'm beautiful in my way cause god makes no mistakes i'm on the right track baby i was born this way don't hide yourself in regret just love yourself in Target? There, sire. Oh, but it's under the sun. But it's not that bright. <laughs> A bit like you then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the target on the other end. Shall I, sire? Wait, wait. Hang on. Stop. Help. Help. Come on, run. Hey, come on now. He's had enough. What? I said you've had your fun, my friend. Do I know you? Oh, I'm Merlin. So I don't know you. Yet you call me your friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, I guess that was my mistake. I couldn't be friends with such a jackass. Or I for one who could be so stupid. Tell me, Merlin, do you know how to walk on your knees? <laughs> no. Do you want me to teach you? <laughs> I wouldn't if I was you. Why? What are you going to do to me? You have no idea. Come on then. Come on. Come on. <coughs> I, I could have you arrested for that. Why? Who do you think you are? The king. I'm his son. Atha. <coughs> Merlin. 
Merlin, do you think you met Arthur by chance? Remember, Merlin, you were born for greater things with unimaginable powers. Wake up, Merlin! 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 You never cease to amaze me. The one thing that someone like you should do is keep their head down. But what do you do? The opposite. You behave like an idiot. I'm sorry. Well, you're lucky. I managed to pull a few strings to get you released. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. I won't forget this. Mm, well, there is a small price to pay. I'm Guinevere, but most people call me Gwen. I'm the Lady Morgana's maid. Right. I'm Merlin. Yeah, but most people just call me an idiot. No, 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 I saw what you did. It was so brave. Brave? <laughs> It was stupid. Well, I'm glad you walked away. You aren't gonna beat him. Oh. I... I can beat him. You think so? Because you don't look like one of these muscly kind of fellows. Thanks? No, 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 I'm sure you're stronger than you look. It's just, um, Arthur's one of these big, rough, tough, save the world kind of fellows, and, well, you don't look like that. So, so. You know what? I'm in disguise. Oh. Well, I'm glad you stood up to him. Really? Yeah. Arthur's a bully, and everyone thought you were a real hero. Hero? Hmm. Drain her of her essence of life. Carry my spirit through this knife. Now I become friend to foe. Uta, beware. Your son's life you owe. What are you doing in here? Uh, I, 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 um, I was asked to deliver this. It's for you. I'm sorry. Helena to feel, Helena to feel. She's born to be bad, so run for the hills. Helena to feel, Helena to feel The fear on your face, it gives me a thrill Who wants to be nice? Who wants to be tame? All of your good guys, they all seem the same A rich man, criminal, dressed to kill Just call me Helena to feel Call me crazy, call me insane, but you're stuck in the past, and I'm ahead of the game. A life lived in penance, it just seems to waste, and the devil has much better to taste. I try to be sweet, I try to be kind, but I feel much better.
Oh, how's any walking coming along, Merlin? Don't run away. What? From you? <laughs> I thought you were deaf as well as dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you you're an ass, Arthur. I just didn't realize you're a royal one. How dare he? What are you going to do? Get your daddy's men to protect you? <laughs> I could take you apart with one blow, Merlin. I could take you apart with less. Come on, then. Give it a try. <laughs> Come on, then, Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. How is it, gentlemen? Huh? Ah! You wanna give up? To you? Wait. Let him go. He may be an idiot, but he's a brave one. There's something about you, Merlin. I can't quite put my finger on it. How could you be so foolish? He deserved to be taught a lesson. Merlin, Merlin. Magic must be studied and mastered. Used for good. What do you mean mastered? Not for these idiotic pranks. But I could do magic like that before I could talk. Then by now you should know how to control yourself. I don't want to control myself. <coughs> Without magic, I haven't got anything. Merlin, let me see. Ah. You don't know why I was born this way, do you? No, Merlin. I'm not a monster, am I? Don't ever think that. Then why am I like this, guys? Perhaps there's someone with more knowledge than me. If you can't tell me, then no one can. <sighs> Here. Take this. It'll help with the pain. Go on, drink up. Will you sing for me tonight? You will have to wait, sire. You will not deny me. I'm saving myself for my performance tomorrow. Will everyone be there? Who would dare to miss it? How about your son? Well... It's such a shame not to have met him. That's Arthur. Poor child. Poor child. It can't have been easy to grow up without a mother. No. That bond between mother and son. It's so hard to replace. It hasn't been easy. I'm sure. Perhaps, if you found someone, if you remarried, I'm sure you'd have to pick up any maiden in the kingdom. Well, perhaps I'll find love again. But I'm afraid it's too late for Arthur's mother. Yes, it's certainly too late for Arthur. Marlin! 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 Where are you? I'm here. How small you are for such a great destiny. Why? What do you mean? What destiny? Your gift, Merlin, was given to you for a reason. So there is a reason. 
Arthur is the once and future king who will unite the lands of Albion. Right. But he faces many threats from friends and foe alike. I, um, I don't see what this has to do with me. Everything. Without you, Arthur will never succeed. Without you, there will be no Albion. No. No. You've got this wrong. There is no right or wrong. Only what is and what isn't. Uh, but I'm serious. If anyone wants to go and kill him, they can go ahead. In fact, I'll give them a hand. None of us can choose our destiny, Merlin. And none of us can escape it. No. No way. No. No. There must be another Arthur. Because this one's an idiot. Perhaps it's your destiny to change that. Goodbye, Merlin. Wait. Wait. Wait! Wait! Stop! No. I... I need to know more. No! state of this room? Uh, it just happens. <laughs> just happens? By magic? Yeah. Well, you can clear it up without magic. And I need you to deliver me some herbs, henbane, wormwood, and sorrel, and give this to Lady Morgana. Poor girl's been suffering from nightmares. I know the feeling. Come in. Lady Helena, compliments of the king. How sweet. How should I ever repay him? When he hears you sing, that'll be more than enough, won't it? I'm really looking forward to the performance. So am I. I love singing, you know. I sing all the time. My beloved says that I have a voice of a fallen angel. We have enjoyed 20 years of peace and prosperity. It has brought the kingdom and me many pleasures, but only a few can compare with the honor of introducing Lady Helena of Mora.
You saved my boy's life? A debt must be repaid. Oh, no. Don't be so modest. You shall be rewarded. Oh, no, there's no need, Your Majesty. I, uh... No, absolutely. This merits something quite special. Well... You shall be Prince Arthur's manservant. What? Father? And that's how Merlin became Arthur's manservant. <sighs> Seems you're a hero, Merlin. Hard to believe, isn't it? No, not really. Remember when you first got here? I knew it from that moment. But that was magic. Indeed it was. Perhaps we finally found a use for it. What do you mean? Well, I saw how you saved Prince Arthur's life. Oh, no. Yeah. Perhaps that's its purpose. Ah, my destiny. Indeed. Now, I was given this book when I was a young boy myself. And I trust it will come of good use to you. But this is a book of magic. It is, Merlin. And that's why you must keep it hidden. I'll study every word. Oh, I just remembered. Uh, Prince Arthur had called for you. You should better go. It might be your destiny calling.
Mistress. Is it done? Yes, mistress. The potion is prepared. Then Camelot and all its riches will soon be mine. <laughs> Oh, keep up, Merlin. We've got a busy day ahead. It's a busy day every day. You and Arthur. You work me to the bone. Oh, come on. At least the work's interesting. Guys, we're collecting pots. <laughs> we do the same thing every Thursday, at exactly the same time. And nothing interesting has ever happened. Please, we seek Uther Pendragon. I, uh... Where can he be found? We seek urgent business with the king. Any business with the king can be pursued through the usual channels. But this is the seal of the House of Tregor. Where did you find it? It does not belong to me. It belongs to me. My lady? Oh, my lady. Right. Lady Katrina, is it really you? I can hardly believe it myself. We are tidings from the north that the house of Tregor had fallen to invaders. All that you heard was true, my lord, and worse. Your father, the king? Gone, sire. The enemy attacked without warning. We were outnumbered five to one. He could not endure it. I would never have survived had it not been for my faithful servant, Jonas. But we did survive, and we have made it this far. Oh. Forgive me, my lord. I fear my trials have taken a toll. Your sufferings are beyond imagining, my lady. It will be an honor for us to help you in any way we can. A bed for the night would be most welcome. And consider yourselves our esteemed guests. It's the least we can do. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry it isn't quite what you're used to. Forgive me, but I didn't get your name. Oh, I'm Merlin. Well, Merlin, considering that we spent last night in a cave, this will do very nicely. Thank you. Well, if you need anything, you can just ask. Um, my master's chambers are only upstairs. My mistress and I could not be more grateful for the kindness you showed us. You're very welcome. <coughs> well, I can't sleep here. This whole place stinks of cleanliness. Do not worry, mistress. <coughs> I will find you somewhere more suitable. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you. It's an honor. The houses of Trigor and Pendragon have been allies for as long as well anyone can remember. My father often spoke of you, my lord. And I will remember him always. I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to meet him. I'm sorry too, but the house of Tregor is no more. Well, no, Katrina. It lives on in you. I only wish that were true. It is, my lady. Your courage, your modesty, and you are as you always were, ever since you were a child. <laughs> I fear I am much changed since then, my lord. Oh, yes, it's true. You are far more beautiful now. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. It's been a hard day of training. Of course. Can I get you anything to eat? You've hardly touched your food. I'm sorry, I find I have little appetite ever since that day. I wish I'd been there for you. Oh, but you're helping me now. Your kindness, your companionship. I must bid you good night, my lord. It's been a long day. Of course, my lady. Good night.
There's something really different about this Lady Katrina. Oh? Yeah, um, most of Huta's guests are really rude and they treat me like I'm some dirt. But she was surprisingly kind, even after all she's been through. Yes, the Lady Katrina has always been most gracious. You met her before? Oh, I treated her several years ago. Although I doubt she remembers now. Ah, I've got a job for you, Merlin. Does it ever end? I need you to d deliver this to the Lady Katrina. What is it? She'll know what it is. Yeah, but what is it? Hmm? All right, all right. What's that? Compliments, King. <laughs> Revolting. <laughs> Uta's so stupid. So blinded by pretty things. Already he falls for me. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he's completely under my control. <laughs> I want to get into my troll body. All this finery and all this crap is just too clean. <laughs> Excellent. Jonas, you must take these back to the kitchens. It's perfectly rotten. Uh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Oh, that's perfectly all right. At least I wasn't undressing. <laughs> uh, uh, the court physician asked me to give you this. What is it? Uh, guys prepared this for you. I'm terribly sorry, there must be some mistake. I requested no medicine. Oh. Oh. Are you sure? Quite sure, thank you. I am in perfect health. Hmm. She didn't ask for it, she didn't need it, she didn't even want it. Interesting, if you say so. When she was a child, I treated the Lady Katrina for an incurable disease. She had a rare bone disorder which affected her joints. She could hardly walk, especially after a long ride. But she can walk as well as you or I. Exactly. So the tonic was a test. Indeed it was. And I'm starting to think the Lady Katrina isn't the Lady Katrina after all. Good evening, sire. A very good evening to you, Gaius. You seem in very high spirits. I am, I am. The Lady Katrina, she seems to have struck a chord with you. Katrina is a remarkable woman. Indeed, sire. You may remember, I treated her as a child. Such courage in the face of her condition. Condition? What are you talking about? Oh, I thought you knew, sire. I diagnosed her with an incurable bone disease. Well, evidently you were wrong. There's nothing the matter with her now. She seems to have made a miraculous recovery. I'm sorry, guys. What are you suggesting? Uh, uh, but... I'm not suggesting anything at all, sire. It just seems a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit odd, that's all. The only thing I see as odd is that you won't admit that you were wrong. Sire, th this is not about me. Th this is about the Lady Katrina. The Lady Katrina is our honored guest, and you will show her the respect that she deserves. Is there something on your mind, my lord? No, it's, it's nothing. Speak, my lord. Is it true that as a child, you were diagnosed with an incurable illness? Who told you that? Gaius, the court physician. He said he treated you for it. What he says is true, my lord. But as you can see, I suffer no more. And for that, you must be eternally grateful. After all, Gaius thought your condition was incurable, did he not? Well, fortunately for us, physicians are often mistaken. Even your famous Gaius. It is unusual, though, for such a serious illness to cure itself. Almost a miracle. I can neither deny it nor explain it, my lord. But miracles do happen. After all, is it not a miracle that we should have found each other again after all this time? 
and my good fortune continues. For you are a remarkable man, Uther Pendragon. You're brave, but compassionate. You're powerful, but modest. And most of all, you're very, very handsome. Oh, I'm sorry. It is I who must apologize, my lord. It's been a long time since a grain, since anyone. I, I understand completely. We have all the time in the world. And I assure you that time will come. Guys, guys. Guys. Merlin. You won't believe what I just saw. What did you see? Lady Katrina. Well, she's not quite a lady. She's a troll, guys. <gasps> what you saw is seldom seen, Merlin. Trolls despise all creatures, especially humans. They prefer to sit in their caves, feasting on rotten filth. And Jonas, is he a troll too? Who knows what manner of creature he is? But it makes no sense. If trolls like to lurk in their caves, what's this one doing in Camelot? Well, trolls lust after wealth and power, such as Camelot's. Oh, Uther's wealth and power. Exactly. Well, we've reached the point of no return. I must tell Uther. Wait, you're going to tell Uther his lady friend's a troll? Exactly. Good luck. Thank you, Merlin. I should be off. My lord. Yes, guys. I have served you now for many years, sire. And in my years of service, in my humble capacity, I hope that I have served you to the best of my knowledge. And that some of that advice has been valuable. Yes, this is true. And so now, 
I must advise you that the Lady Katrina is not who she says she is. Well then, guys, tell me, who is she? <sighs> Sire, the Lady Katrina, she is, she is a, how do I put this? Sire, she's... Oh, come on, out with it. She's a troll, sire, a troll! Excuse me? Trolls have the power to turn into any shape that they desire. And this one has turned into a shape that pleases you. You are besotted, my lord. You have fallen into her power! Gaius, this is a little ludicrous. Sire. Sire. Her entire family perishes, and she alone survives. She has an incurable disease, but miraculously recovers. And that is nothing but idle gossip. And is it gossip, sire, that she does not eat the same food that we do? Like any other troll, she feasts on rotten food. That is enough, Gaius. This attack is unwarranted and malicious. Have you seen her servant, sire? He has a tail! I said enough! Sire, I simply advise you not to do anything rash. And I advise you to hold your tongue, physician, or I will indeed do something rash. Did you sleep uh, well last night, mistress? Very well, thank you. <laughs> we have a problem. Last night you have followed. Who? Merlin. Merlin. Shall I dispose of him, mistress? No, 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 no. That may arouse suspicion. But it's time that Uther went to my wishes. And what if he does not? Well, he'll have no choice. There's more than one way to enchant a man. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this perfect? You and me together. A toast. A toast to us. I'm not sure everyone sees it that way. Well, there will always be those who resist change. That's to be expected. We should be mindful of public opinion. What are you trying to say, my lord? Perhaps if you were to visit your cousins for a while, to show the people that we're not rushing into anything. You would let yourself be bullied by some petty-minded fools? But of, of course, my lord, if that is what you wish, then that is what I shall do. It is as you said. We have all the time in the world. Hmm. Before I go, my lord, there's something I want to give you. It belonged to my father and his father before him. Katrina, I couldn't possibly. No, 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 my lord. I want you to have it. Perhaps when you look at it, it will remind you of me and of the times that we have spent together. I shall wear it always. That is as well, my lord. For while others doubt me, you must not. You cannot doubt me, my lord. For am I not beautiful? You are beautiful. Am I not your heart's desire? You are my heart's desire. <laughs> Good day, mistress. <laughs> is it a good day? It is indeed, Jonas. The king was receptive to advances then. Ah, uh, how could he resist such beauty? <laughs> the enchantment proved effective then. Oh yes, he's nothing but a puppet in my hand. <laughs> It's no good, Merlin. We can tell King Uther she's a troll until we're blue in the face, but it won't make any difference. He simply sees her as a beautiful, charming woman. Yeah, with a body like a troll. Ah, but you only know that because you saw her in troll form. So what do you want to do? Well, we must open King Uther's eyes and reveal her true identity. Using magic? Yes, Merlin, using magic. But she never leaves his side, guys. I know. 
So you want me to use magic in front of the king? I know it could be dangerous, Merlin, but we don't have another option. Who knows how severe the consequences could be if she gains further control of the king? But guys, I'd never succeed. And more importantly, I don't know the first thing about troll magic. <laughs> well, then you better get started. What a beautiful day. The first of many, I hope. How fine it must be to have it all under your command. It can be a burden sometimes. Well, then let me share your burden, my lord. Together we could achieve so much. You know there's nothing I'd love more. Oh, and my lord? Hmm? I was thinking, would it not be a good idea to send a message to those who doubt us? To show all of Camelot the strength of our love, our commitment. Yes. What did you have in mind? I was thinking of something traditional, something permanent. Very well, my lady. It's time for an announcement. God! God! Thank you all for coming. You are no doubt wondering why I've called you here today. Though we live in dark times, today I bring you light and love. It gives me great pleasure to inform you that the houses of Trigor and Pendragon are to be united in the closest bond of them all. <laughs> I am to marry Lady Katrina of Trigor. Why not tomorrow? I am to marry Lady Katrina tomorrow. This union heralds a new dawn for the kingdom, a new beginning, a new queen for all here in Camelot. I could not have hoped to have found a better match. I trust you will all share in our joy. Thank you. What happened? I'm sorry, mistress. I wasn't prepared. Quickly, my potion. It seems by Merlin, he has some magic. Do not concern yourself. I resisted him easily enough. But, but there's no telling what he could do. He could ruin everything. That cannot be allowed to happen. What would you have me do, mistress? I think it's time we set a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried. I gave it everything I had. It's not your fault, Merlin. You did your best. The spell of revelation. It's powerful magic. And she could feel it. I could see she could feel it. But... Indeed, Merlin. But troll magic is powerful. Well, where are you off to now? To see Arthur. He's our Merlin. only hope. Yes? Arthur, I need to tell you something. And it isn't going to be easy. Right. It's about Lady Katrina. Have you been using my chambers to spy on her again? Oh. No, trust me. I saw everything I needed to. <laughs> Obviously you did, Merlin. Arthur, she's a troll. Come on, she's not that bad. No, she's a troll. A real troll. Merlin, see. I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. I can understand. And when I heard that he, my father, announced a wedding, I just realized that Lady Katrina makes him happy. And it's about his happiness, Merlin. It's not about my happiness. But he won't be so damn happy when he finds out she's a fruit-munching monster. Merlin, that's enough. But... Merlin, that's enough. She's the future queen of Camelot, and you will have to accept it. Is that clear? Crystal. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Master Merlin. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, what's wrong with you? I'm a slave. A prisoner. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, my mistress. She's a cruel and wicked being.
beast. She keeps me in chains. She hurts me. Okay, go on. I'm listening. She's twisting my mind. As she's twisting the mind of your king. And I can help you. How? How so? In the dungeon where she sleeps. She keeps her potions there. It is the magic of those potions which turns her from beast to beauty. If you take away those potions, then she must remain as beast. And then your king may not be so keen, I think. And tell me, Jonas, why should I believe you? Oh, you must do as you must think fit, Master Merlin. But if my mistress isn't stopped by morning, she will be queen of Camelot. <laughs> oh, Merlin, you won't find anything in there. You may possess some magic, wretch, but you are no match for me. <laughs> My lords, ladies, and gentlemen of Camelot, we are gathered here today to witness by the ancient rite of hand fasting the union of Uther Pendragon and Lady Katrina. Step aside, Jonas. No, get out of here, Merlin. I said, get out of my way. Is it your wish, Uther, to become one with this woman? It is. Is it your wish, Katrina, to become one with this man? It is. Do any say nay? With this, I do tie a knot, and in doing so, bind your hands and your hearts together for all eternity. I, Uther Pendragon, King of Camelot, I shall not seek to change thee in any way. I shall respect thee as I respect myself. This I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Darling, we're alone at last. What's wrong? I'm sorry, it's not you. This has been the happiest day of my life. I want this more than anything. Then what is it? When I was forced to flee my home, the only thing I was able to take with me was my family seal. Yes, I remember. You showed it to me when you first arrived. It was the only surviving link I have to my father. And now it's gone, stolen from my chambers. Who could have done such a thing? Oh no, I don't want to cause any trouble. Not on a day that should be filled with such joy. Katrina, who took your seal? It was Arthur's servant, Merlin. God, get a hold of that boy Merlin, put him in the dungeon. I do not want to see his face or have fear what the outcome may be. Merlin, you need to leave. The king has ordered me to arrest you. What? Lady Katrina has accused you of stealing her seal. I, I didn't. Merlin, I do not care. You do not have time to explain yourself. 
If you value your life, if you love your life, just leave Camelot. Arthur, she's a troll. She's trying to set me up, Arthur. Merlin, I do not care. And we've had this conversation numerous times. But I saw her. Merlin, yeah. you need to leave right now. Please leave. I fear he may have slipped through our net. You're very quick to give up the chase. That's because I know he's long gone. How can you be so certain? N now Merlin may look stupid, but he surely isn't. I'm sure he found out we're looking for him. Outwitting your army in the process? It appears so. I thought your men aspired to the same high standards that my father instilled in you. When I led the army, they did. We don't even know if he's still in Camelot. He could be literally anywhere. And that's a good enough reason to give up? I just believe if our resources could have been better, it would have been more... I don't want any of your excuses. We're both done with it. I want the boy, boy found. I look into that. Sayo, my lady. <laughs> um, guys? Yes? So I saw her take some of this potion and a patch of troll skin just disappeared. Interesting. It must be pretty powerful magic to change her physically like that. Yes. Um, do you think you can create one that tastes and looks exactly the same? I don't know. I suppose so, yes. But without the troll magic, it wouldn't have the same effects. Exactly. So if I can switch this potion with one that isn't magical... Ah. She will keep taking it, but it won't have the same effect anymore. She'll turn into a troll. Think you can do it? I don't know. Well, we must try. And we have to get done before tomorrow morning, or Jonas will realize it's gone. Well, then it's gonna be a long night. My lady? My liege. I brought you flowers picked from the royal garden. Well, they're, they're lovely. Not as lovely as you. Ach! Are you all right? I'm sorry. I can't keep this up. Keep what up? The lie. I can't keep pretending like this anymore. I'm beginning to wonder if you're really the man I thought you were. The man I fell in love with. Because the man I married was firm, strong, both in mind and in body. Trust me, I am all of that and more. I fear for Camelot. Arthur has not taken after his father. He's too weak to make the hard decisions. Then it's lucky I'm in such rude health. Lucky indeed, but what if some tragedy were to befall you? Let me worry about Arthur. I can't. Your love for him has made you blind to his faults. I judge Arthur the same as the rest of my men. If he fails, he is punished. If he succeeds, he is rewarded. Well, as long as you're sure of that. I am. Now let me take your mind off this. I promise, our first night as husband and wife will be one to remember. What's in it? Uh, nothing too potent. Uh, rat's guts. <laughs> nice. Toad paste. So you take two toads. No, I, I, get, I get the picture. And of course, no potion is complete without some delicious sheep's brain. Sounds delicious. Good, because you're going to have to try it. <laughs> no way. Don't worry, it's completely harmless. Uh, it's vile. Just a action? little bit. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, well, try the original as well. What? Well, to make sure that it tastes the same. It may taste vile to you, but to a troll, delicious. 
This won't kill me, right? Make sure to spit it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Terrible. Oh. Well, let's hope the Lady Katrina thinks so too. They are alike, right? Yeah, they were perfectly horrible. Good, because if she tastes too much of a difference, she will notice. She won't. I gave you a direct order. The people cannot afford to pay the tax. Don't tell me you're naive enough to take them at their word. We have their loyalty and their goodwill. Do not forsake that for these unreasonable demands. Is it so unreasonable for a king to expect his subjects to obey him? They'll starve! Nonsense! They've grown too soft. Remember, they are your subjects, not your friends. And why can't we be both? Because we rule the people, not the other way around. I think you're wrong. I beg your pardon? I said you're wrong! Without the people, there is no Camelot. We are their servants, as much as they are ours. You allow him to address you in this manner? No, I do not. This will not be tolerated. You will take your men down into the town and go to every house collecting the payments I demand. I will not get out of my sight! How can he do this to me? My own son? After all the sacrifices are made for him. Oh, you are tense. Is it any surprise? The lack of respect he shows me. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt? No, of course not. No, it's... But your hands are surprisingly strong for someone so delicate. <laughs> Arthur, he carries a heavy burden. It can't be easy holding all that responsibility at such a tender age. I'm afraid that's the way it is. After all, I cannot rule Camelot alone. Well, you don't have to. You married me, remember? How can I forget? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm too worried about you. With Arthur letting you down like he has, how will you cope? Like you said, you can't rule Camelot alone. I have you by my side. <laughs> I may be your queen, but I have no power. Why not? Hmm. Well, the people wouldn't respect me like they do Arthur. I'm not heir to the throne. Would it put your mind at rest if you were? Oh, it would. It most definitely would. Then you shall be. The ceremony will take place this afternoon. I saw what you did earlier. The people owe you a debt of gratitude. The people owe me nothing. My father will still impose the tax. Will he not be persuaded? By me. He can't stand the sight of me. That is not true. The king loves you. Did you see the way he spoke to me? Well, I'm sure he was angry, but you're still his son. Everyone saw what you did. They won't forget that. You know, maybe he's right. One day, I will be the king of Camelot. And I cannot be their ruler as well as their friend. That is not true. And you will prove it when you're king. You have a kind heart, Arthur. Don't ever change. Not for anyone. Come in. The king has sent for you, sire. Thank you. Father? I'm relaxing your duties, revoking your title. What? We live in dangerous times. I cannot let you undermine my authority. But you've always welcomed my counsel in the past. 
You stood against me for all the people to see. Father, grievances like these should be discussed in private. No, it's too late for that. Father, but this is absolutely... You are to be disinherited with immediate effect. You are no longer Crown Prince of Camelot. But, but, sire... Gaius. He's your son, the rightful heir. Gaius. But, Gaius. But, uh... Father, you've always wanted me to be true to my heart. And that's all I've ever tried to do. To be the man you've always wanted me to be. Someone you were proud to call your son. My decision is final. Queen Katrina will be made rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> the ceremony will begin forthwith. We are gathered here today to bear witness to the naming of Lady Katrina as the true heir of Camelot. Lady Katrina, are you willing to take the oath? I am. You solemnly swear to uphold the laws and customs of the land and govern the people of Camelot. I do. Will you cause law and justice I in mercy to be executed in all your judgments? I will. Will you, to the utmost of your powers? Yes, yes. Ma'am, I'm sorry. You, mu you must let me finish. The wording must be exactly right to be binding. Well, get on with it then. I mean, really, where did you dig up this old crone from? She's right. Get on with it. Will you, to the utmost of your powers, I will. serve the people of Camelot I will. and uphold the laws and customs? Just, just be quiet and give me the crown! She's a troll! How dare you speak about her like that? W what's wrong with you, sire? Do you not see what she looks like? I... I don't believe it. She ripped a door off its hinges. Doesn't that tell you something? Enough! Sire, she is a troll. A great, grey... Vile! Stinking! Stinking troll! Stop it! Haven't you heard her feelings enough? Insult my wife again and it'll be the last thing you ever do. <sighs> I'm so sorry that you had to hear those terrible things. He, uh, he... He's just taking time to adjust. He'll soon get used to having a stepmother around. But how could he compare such beauty with a troll? Search me. I wash my face and everything. What is it? It's it's just your scent. It's so fragrant. Well, um, it's uh, mostly dung. <laughs> and such a sense of humor too. I was so blessed it was my castle you came to. That I get to look upon this vision every day. Well... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And I shall behold it.
I got chills, they're multiplying And I'm losing control Cause the power you're supplying It's electrifying Everything to your satisfaction? Uh, no. This thing's gotta go for a start. It's made for midgets. Too hard, too clean. Not my taste at all. What can I get you instead? Ah. I was walking through the grounds this morning, and I couldn't help but notice that your stables have been mucked out. Now, it seems such a waste to throw away all that lovely dung. <laughs> mm, that is for you. Now, tell them about our plan, beloved. Plan! We're introducing further taxes. Sire, your people have given all they can. You said that before and yet our coffer is full. Your people are already going hungry. Are you questioning my orders? It's just if we take more, they'll starve. Who are you to tell me what's best for my people? You will collect more taxes, or you will lose your head. <laughs> lose your head. <laughs> lose his head. <laughs> I understand Bayer de Mercia wishes to honor our marriage with a visit. Yes, sire. Oh, good. Now tell this Bayard we expect gifts. Lots of lovely shiny gold. I I still think at this moment it would be wise to <coughs> to respectfully decline his offer of a visit. Whatever for? I still don't think we can trust Bayard at this point in time. Nonsense. He's a friend of Camelot. You will send a reply. It will be an honor to feast with him. Honor. Last night, the old druid spoke to me in my dream, and he told me that the only way to break a troll spell was if Uther cried tears of real remorse, and that's the only way to break the enchantment. Well, that's not going to be easy. Uther's heart is closed to everyone. Well, not everyone. Arthur. Ah, well, then there's only one course of action we can take. Uther must see his son die. Die? Die. Arthur. Arthur! You're back? Well, I never left. So you mean to say... Yes. You've been hiding in the palace the entire no. time? No. No, of course not. If you have been... No, 
No, I swear. I really wasn't. Are you sure? I'm sure. So, your stepmother. She's... Merlin, if you say I told you so. No, of course not. I mean, I wouldn't. But it is true, if you had listened to... Sorry. Um, well, anyways, we think your father's been enchanted by her. And Gaius and I may have a solution, but we need your help. So your great plan is to kill me? Well, no. Well, yes. It's... it's not exactly... Okay, well, Gaius has a potion, which is supposed to give you the appearance of death, without the actual dying bit. Um, what? don't worry, Arthur. It'll be fine. It's just that... how do I put it? It'll bring you to the brink of death. Mm -hmm. To the brink of death? Well, we don't really have another choice. We have to make your father cry, Arthur. He doesn't care about me anymore. Oh, nonsense. That's Katrina's influence. I have never seen your father treasure anyone or anything more than he does you. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. A single drop of the antidote will reverse the effects immediately. <laughs> antidote? What antidote? You never told me about any antidote. Well, um... I didn't think it was important. What? The, the potion will... It'll lower your heart rate in your breathing. For all intents and purposes, you will basically be, be dead. And the antidote reverses those effects? If administered in time. And what if it isn't? You'll be dead. You just said it wasn't important! Oh. Uh, perhaps... Merlin! Maybe it was a bit important. Don't worry, Arthur. Once I administer the poison, the potion, Merlin will have half an hour to deliver the antidote. Do not be late. Am I ever? Yeah. I won't die, right? Well, I better go break the bad news to Uther. Arthur? Arthur! My boy! My boy! It was my fault. I pushed you away. My son. No, 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 no. My Come son. Away. Come away. It was I'm my fault. My son. No, 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 no. No, no. <gasps> my boy. Let it was my fault. Dead. Katrina. What kind of trickery is this? Oh, how I've suffered these last weeks. Allowing you to touch me? Having to share a bed with you? It's repulsive. I know the feeling. God sees it. Stop her. <laughs> Is there any way to treat your dear old queen? <laughs> <laughs>
hurt? Are you badly hurt? No, sir. Merlin, I want you to know that I've never doubted you. All right, maybe I did, but you've got a suspicious look. Something shifty. It's like you're trying to hide something. But I'm pretty much an open book, Arthur. I wouldn't believe that, Merlin. Although if it wasn't for your help, I would still have a troll for a stepmother. And for that, thank you, Merlin. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you didn't want a hug? Um, no. No? <laughs> As time went by, Camelot was placed under yet another spell after Uther's death. Arthur now holds the reins of Camelot. He sets an example to all and sundry that love conquers all as he is bound in holy matrimony to his lady love, Guinevere. Much to the discontent of Uther's adopted ward, Morgana, who would have thought that Morgana would become a demon so venomous that she would strike the king dead. In a quest to reign supreme over Camelot, she plans yet another siege. This time, it is Arthur. And who else do you think she would direct her wrath towards? Our one and only, Merlin. What a pleasure it is to see you again. The honor is all mine, my lady. Your arrival has been keenly anticipated, I assure you. I have boasted of your powers. Though not all believe. Hmm. People may believe as they wish. Oh, well, perhaps some small display of your talents is in order. After all, seeing is believing, is it not? I'm not an entertainer, my lady. Think of it as more of a demonstration. Those flames, extinguish them. My lady, I must protest. Indulge me. Fall for the ocean! Morgana, Ari, let's strike that Arthur Pendragon dead, and then Camelot will be ours forever. I want him dead for sure. I long for the day I'll be able to stick a sword through his gut. Baye Londwine! Again, if you please. Baye Londwine! Ari's a loyal soldier. We have a powerful ally in him. Perhaps, but the war can be won for sure now. For Arthur is nothing without Merlin, and Merlin is nothing without his magic. What's that? Morgana's work, that's for sure. Mordred must have told her of your powers by now. It was only a matter of time before she struck out. We can only be grateful that she failed. Uh, Strang it. Strang it. Strang it. Guys, I don't think she failed. Whatever do you mean? My magic, it's gone. Merlin, Merlin, look here. The figure, it left behind the sign of the Geen Canuck. What? The Geen Canuck? Isn't that the old language of magic or 
Something like that? Indeed, Morgan, indeed. The Gim Kanach is a fearsome creature forged by the tears of the Earth Mother Nemean. It devours on the magic of others! But I thought all such creatures were destroyed. In the Great Purge. All but one, it would seem. Oh no! The Saxons attack! The garrison is surrounded, my lady. Are you ready? I am ready. Tur me nam de vel! On ti nam me gen! Geklipat! With horn the egg! The yella! A vesla! We cannot hold them! The garrison at Stoll was attacked. Morgana! It would seem so. This cannot be a coincidence. She picked the Mortman you are most vulnerable to begin her attack. What am I going to do? Well, for now, you can help me tend to the wounded. Here, your skills as a physician are still valid. Uh. Don't worry. Merlin knows what he's doing. Uh. Do you have news from Stone? Have you heard from my family? Uh, Ira, your family. The people uh, of your town. You're the only one that survived the attack. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm sorry, Ira. But whatever happens, we will take care of you and protect you. You have my word. Thank you. A force of Saxons, sir. They've crossed the border last night and have attacked our well. They march under Morgana's command. There'd be no doubt about it, sire. It's not men we face, but sorcery. We shouldn't be surprised. She's been massing an army for weeks. And now with Starwell taken, she has a base at our northern border. Which can only mean one thing. She means to take Camelot. Well, she already made a first mistake, sire. We have sufficient time to prepare our defenses, sire. We can make our stand here. How will great her army? Camelot will stand. The citadel will not fall. Perhaps, perhaps not. Sire, we have already deserted Starwell. I won't forsake the innocent of this land while we take refuge here. But we can protect them here, sire. In Camelot itself. Some. But not all. Countless men, women and children will be left behind. People have vowed to protect. We cannot save everyone, Arthur. No matter how much we may wish it. There is a way. And one way alone. We must ride out and meet them, sire. No. We must ensure that she doesn't reach this far. Man to man. But Arthur... Morgana commands an army of thousands. Nonetheless, it is our duty as protectors of this land. We cannot stand by and let our citizens be slaughtered. Those are not the values that Camelot was built on. No matter what the outcome of this battle may be, my sister cannot and will not desecrate those values. A war has just begun. Your blade, Mordred, forged in dragon's breath. Nothing can survive its touch. A magnificent weapon, worthy of my proudest warrior. Then I shall wield it in victory and with honor. To reach Camelot, Morgana will have to cross these white mountains. And the pass 
that gives passage to an army of that size is here. I know it well. The path leads to a valley by the cliff on the other side. That's where we meet them. Now we can't be outnumbered. And if we hold the pass long enough, it'll mean victory. How long? Morgana's army has no care for the likes of men. She can't supply for an army of that size indefinitely. Not isolated by these mountains. Now if we hold out long enough, she'll be forced to retreat. Percival, at what point is the path at its narrowest? Here, sire. And what do they call this place? It is called Camelon, sire. Then Camelon it is. Camelon is where we make our stand. Yes, sire. I'd hope to never hear that name again. You cannot go, Merlin. You have to persuade him. I know Arthur better than I know myself. He will not listen. If he goes to Camelon, the prophecy will come true and he will die. Yes. But this battle is the only way Arthur knows to save his people. Even if he does die, you will still go. Well, what are we going to do about it then? Well, if I can't prevent him from going, I must do my best to protect him. And how are you going to do that without your magic? I must regain my magic, guys. <laughs> how? I know it's beyond your power. Maybe it's beyond anyone's powers. If I want answers, I think I must look elsewhere. So where will you go? Well, to the birthplace of magic itself. The Crystal Caves. I'll surely get answers there. No, Merlin, no. The Valley of the Fallen Kings is a dangerous place, crawling with bandits. You will not be going. Well, that's why I won't be going alone. Well, it would seem everything's done, sire. Thank you, Merlin. Impressive. Very impressive. Quite remarkable, in my opinion. Uh, thank you, sire. So tell me, Merlin, what are you after? After? Merlin, you're the worst servant in the history of mankind. And suddenly, all of this? Oh, well... Do you need money, Merlin? You know I don't need your money, Arthur. Obviously, you already took all of mine. So, do you need time off then? Arthur? No, it couldn't be that because you don't do anything all day. Well, I just wanted to make sure that you're set for your journey to Camelon. You know, the one upcoming. Thank you, Merlin. Um, but what do you mean my journey? Oh, um, I'm sorry, Arthur, but I won't be joining you. Not this time. Guys has been running errands for him. Important ones. We need vital supplies. You know, for the war. Vital supplies? Uh, yes. No, it, it's fine. I understand. Arthur. Merlin, you know all those jokes about you being a coward? I never meant any of that. I thought you were the bravest man I'd ever met. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Arthur, you're forgetting something. Guinevere, what are you doing here? I'm coming with you. The battlefield is no place for a queen. I have no intention of joining you there. I can assure you. Arthur, if these are to be your last days, I would rather spend them together than sit waiting for a man I might never see again. Gently, Mordred. She can't speak with her throat cut out now, can she? Ah. Well, Ira, 
I trust Sir Gwen has found your company to his satisfaction. I like to think so. And has he been forthcoming about King Arthur's plans? He's kept no secrets from me. Well, does the king intend to ride out and meet us? He does, my lady. The king and his men depart from Camelot as we speak. Then it is as we have anticipated. I'll spare your life, but for your sake, I hope you're not lying to me. Release her. Something else. The knight said he was taking Merlin somewhere. The Valley of the Fallen Kings, I think. Merlin, why would he leave Arthur now? Well, why shouldn't he? He's of no further use to his king, after all. Indeed. But why the Valley of the Fallen Kings? What is it, Mordred? When I was a boy, the Druids told me of a special place. A place where magic itself was born. It is said to lie within the valley. They call it the Crystal Cave. That can only mean one thing. Merlin is out to get his magic back. Thanks for everything that you did for Ira. Oh, you don't need to thank me. It's the least I could do. And you seem like you care for her. When I could hardly leave her to the Saxons now, could I? Is that the only reason for saving her? Of course. Hmm. Well, I think I can find my own way from here. Sorry? Uh, you needn't come any further, Gwen. You've done enough. But, but how will you get back to Camelot? Oh, um, trust me. Once I have what I'm looking for, I'll be safe. What are you looking for? There's some things I cannot tell you. You need to trust me on this. Go back to Arthur. He needs you. You need to protect him. Take care of yourself, Merlin. Thank you, Gwen. You know to use the sharp end, right? Yeah, I think so. Goodbye. Face me, Morgana. How well you've kept your secrets. How well you've protected my brother. Are you still scared of me, Morgana? Why won't you face me? Who'd have thought an itty bitty servant with all that heart? Why won't you face me, Morgana? You can't protect your king now. You can't even protect yourself. I think you're scared, Morgana. I fear no one, least of all you. This is the last time you've defied me, Merlin. Sanas Irasa! Uh, uh, uh. Send word to the king. The enemy forces will reach Camlin by sundown tomorrow. We have underestimated their forces. They outnumber us three to one. Vital supplies, guys. What is it, sire? It's a shame that Merlin wasn't able to join us. Yes. I cannot treat the wounded without the necessary supplies. It is an unfortunate circumstance. I'll grant you that, sire. Unfortunate, guys. As you say. I'm not sure he believes you, guys. I'm not sure I do either. I know how devoted Merlin is to Arthur. He would never abandon him at a time like this. Not for a mere errand. Not unless there was something else. Something he doesn't feel able to talk about. There is something extremely important, my lady. Something that very dearly needs to be said, but due to certain circumstances, I cannot tell you. Well, then, there's nothing else to be said except whatever it is, I wish him luck.
What is it? What if so Leon was right? What if we should have held a stand at Camelot? Your plan is brave and bold and our only chance of defeating Morgana once and for all. Yes, we could have held out at the Citadel. But for how long? And at what cost to the kingdom? I have never for a moment doubted the valor and wisdom of this choice. Guinevere, if you don't doubt me, then I don't doubt myself. This is stronger than any weapon I can have. Come, we must rest whilst we can. Arthur, Arthur, I hope you can see this. I'm sorry I had to leave you. I didn't really have any other choice. I can only hope that one day you understand why. Your plan, it is a good plan, and you can yet save Camelot. However, you must be aware. There's a path over the ridge at Camelot, and Morgana knows of this path. She plans to use it to trap you. You must find the path. Find the path, Arthur, or the war will be over before it begins. Find the path. Now wake up. Wake up. What's the matter? It was Merlin. It was a dream, Arthur. Just a dream. Arthur! Arthur! Sire, the scouts report that Morgana's army is on the move. Morgana means to attack us before the night. Hmm. Tell our men to prepare. Yes, sire. Percival! Lancelot! Take our men and patrol the area. Morgana means to attack us before the night is done. And we cannot let that happen. She will try and outflank us. And we need to kill her. Gentlemen, Tonight we battle, a battle which is older than the land itself. It is a war against tyranny, against spite, against hate. Some will survive, but some will not be able to see the dawn. Because we just don't fight for our lives. We fight for the future, for the future of Camelot. For the future of Albion. For the future of the United Kingdoms. For the love of Camelot. For the love of Camelot.
choice! My lady, the battle is won. The Saxons are in full retreat. They've made for the hills. I've dispatched 200 men to drive advantage home. And Arthur? We'll keep looking. Thank you. Oh, and I'll need some fresh water? Yes, my lady. Merlin, on a quest to look for the injured Arthur, does not relent. In the meanwhile, Morgana's wrath was worse than a viper whose young had been crushed to death. As she grieved the death of a beloved mortal, whom she had cared for as her only son, she swore to avenge his death. She vowed to make Arthur shed tears of blood, or rather, blood itself. Camelot had to face a bloodbath, the likes of which it had never seen before. As luck has it, Merlin chances upon Arthur lying battered and injured. Merlin. Arthur. Ah. Ah. Lie back. Ah. Lie back. Lie back. Merlin, my side. You're bleeding. I thought I was dying, Merlin. I'm sorry. The, the prophecy. I thought I could stop it. Merlin, where have you been? Oh. It doesn't matter now. It's the prophecy. M Merlin, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, what prophecy? Ah. Uh. The Saxons. I beat them. The armies. But it was Modred. I knew it was Modred I had to stop. I'm sorry. M Merlin, what are you talking about? It was the... Uh, uh, it was the prophecy you killed them? What are you talking about, Merlin? The sorcerer. It was the sorcerer who killed everyone. No, Arthur. It was me. Merlin. Lie back. Merlin, you're not the sorcerer. What are you talking about? Arthur. I have magic, Arthur, and I use it for you, only for you. Merlin, don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you, Arthur. You're not a sorcerer. Watch this. Hmm? Merlin, leave me. Arthur. Merlin, you need to leave. Uh, Merlin, just leave right now. Uh, how could you do this? You traitor! So many people are dead in the square. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Three more patrols have returned from the White Mountains, my lady. There has been no word or sign of them. He must be somewhere! We have spoken to every villager, every man, woman, and child. There has been no word. He is out there. We will keep searching. He is alive, I know it. I can feel it. Who else is still unaccounted for? Gaius. He's not been seen? Not since the battle. Any news? No. <sighs> Let me see. 
Uh, uh. Is that all you've got? The hills were crawling with Saxons. So what? No yarrow? No lady's mantle? No, Mullen. Uh. I got some camphor. Camphor? Guys, at least you got Stickleworth. Surely there was Stickleworth. Uh. Marlin, why don't you, uh, why don't you go water the horses and make sure they're fed as well? We won't have much time to hide out here. He's a sorcerer. Guys, you knew? Uh, Arthur. Uh, Arthur, he's your friend. I want him gone right away. Uh. Arthur. There is no... There is no need to fear, Merlin. I want him gone. To Camelot. To Guinevere. Do not uh, send Merlin. I will go instead. Guys. I need a physician. Not a sorcerer. Arthur. <laughs> Merlin. Merlin is more powerful than me. <laughs> more powerful than you can ever imagine. Rubbish. Some say that he is the, the most powerful sorcerer to ever walk the face of the planet. Uh, Merlin? Him? <laughs> Merlin! <laughs> uh, yes. He was stabbed right next to the heart. Well then, we must use magic to heal it. This is no ordinary blade, Merlin. I fear this blade was forged in dragon's breath. Ah. Uh, dragon? Atheist dragon? Yes, Merlin. And only a power as ancient and as powerful as a dragon can thwart this. There's nothing you can do. No. There has to be something. We cannot leave him. The blade was traveling inexorably close to his heart. There is no way to save him, Merlin. We need to try, guys. Camelot is still suffering from the wrongdoings of Morgana. In order to save Arthur, Excalibur must be drenched in Morgana's blood. The blood of she who most treacherously killed King uh. Uther. Hunt. Morgana, down. The battle is not over yet, Mordred. We will have our revenge still. My lady, we've searched every valley, every gorge, every gully. The king is nowhere to be found. I want King Arthur dead. Find him. Mullen, Arthur. Guys, uh, I want you to take this to Guinevere. But this is the royal seal, sire. I know it is the royal seal. If I am to die, n nobody better than Guinevere can handle the reins of Camelot. Ah. Oh. Do this for me, guys. Thank you. I shall deliver this seal to her, my boy. Thank you, guys. Ah. Ah. Merlin. Mm. Merlin. I was betrayed. Ira. She cannot be trusted anymore. I know, Merlin. I know. How long does he have? At best, two days. Two days? 
Well. Goodbye, Martin. Goodbye. I'll have your favorite, favorite meal waiting for you when you get back. Now go, he needs you. You called for me, my lady. I want to thank you, Gaius. What for? Unmasking Ira. I shall forever be in your debt. And Merlin's. Was it he that found Arthur? Hmm. He's always been a good servant to him. Yes, my lady. The sorcerer in the battle. You knew him? Yes. Do I know him? Please, guys, answer me honestly. Yes. Merlin has always been there for Arthur. I'm sure he will take good care of him. I'm pleased. Mm. One more day, Arthur. Hang in there. Just one more day. Why did you never tell me your magical powers? Uh, well, I thought... What? I thought you'd chop off my head. <sighs> I'm not sure what I would have done, Merlin. Uh, well, some men, Arthur, are born to plow fields. And others, they become great physicians or great kings. And me? Well, I was born to serve you, Arthur. And I'm very proud of it. Thank you, Merlin. I wouldn't change a thing. One more day. Oh. Arthur! I can't move on, Merlin. Come on, Arthur, we have to. We have to. Merlin, I can't, I'm tired. All right. We rest. Only for an hour. Merlin, you can't tell me what to do, I'm the king. I always have. It isn't going to change now. I don't want you to change, Merlin. I want to thank you. I'm so sorry for the way I've treated you. I see I'm getting a holiday tomorrow. <laughs> Two of them. That's generous. <sighs> so we get some rest now? Yeah. Just an hour. Hello, boys. <gasps> what a joy it is to see you again, Arthur. Merlin. Look at you. Not so tall and mighty now, are you? You may have won the battle, but you've lost the war. You will die by Mordred's hand. But don't worry, brother dearest. I won't let you die alone. I will watch over you until the wolves feed on your carcass and gorge on your blood. No. <coughs> no more bloodshed, Morgana. I blame myself for what you've become. I am a high priestess. No mortal blade can kill me. Uh, this blade. It's no mortal blade, Morgana. It's forged from the breath of a dragon. Just as yours is. G goodbye, Morgana. Finally, Merlin. You've brought peace. You've brought peace to this land, Merlin. Oh. Come on, Arthur. We've got oh. to get to the lake. I can't, Merlin. Come on, Arthur. Come on. All your magic, Merlin. It can't save my life. Oh. Oh. No, Arthur, it can. I cannot lose you. No, Merlin. You can't. J just hold me. I can't, Merlin. I want to tell you something. Arthur, you're not saying goodbye. 
for the kingdom you've helped me build for camelot i wouldn't have done it without you merlin merlin i want to tell you something i've never told you before arthur thank you thank you merlin <coughs> arthur Arthur? No. Arthur. No. No, Arthur. Come on. Arthur. Arthur. The king is dead. Long live the queen! I'm sorry, Your Highness. I tried everything, but I couldn't save Arthur. You're wrong there. Young man, though no man, no matter how great, can know his destiny, some lives are foretold, Merlin. Arthur is not only king, he is the once and future king of Albion. When Albion's need is greatest, Arthur will rise again. It was a pleasure knowing you, young warlock. The story that we have been a part of will linger long in the minds of men. Let's 
Just let